Hello friends, how are you doing today? So in this video, we're going to talk about automation. So when it comes to automation, if you are running a small startup company or any mid-size organization or enterprise, the automation plays a major role in this current scenario, right? What happens if you are um, running a small business where you may do a lot of manual tasks and uh, if you are a mid-size company, there will be a team to do a lot of repetitive tasks. And if you are an enterprise organization, uh, you may have a, a team of folks doing very manual or repetitive tasks every day, right? And uh, automation comes into picture to remove all these manual or repetitive tasks and uh, improve the speed, quality, and achievement through this automation process, right? In olden days, what happened, if you take any organization, uh, there will be a development team, business team, testing team, deployment team, uh, and a monitoring team, all those teams, right? So what those teams were doing, they were doing their job uh, on a day-to-day -day basis, and uh, they delivered the product or the project, whatever assigned to them in the proper way, right? Uh, if you look closely in those teams, or if you are part of those teams in current organization, you can just closely observe what's happening in your team. Out of 10 folks, one person might be interested in doing that um, automation type of thing, right? So if you take an example of development team, all nine developers might be doing the code development job. And uh, one out of 10 person might be doing some automation work uh, to automate the um, framework or create the framework uh, and give it to the folks to develop the project well and um, in case of if you take a testing team there might be 10-15 folks doing a regular testing job but uh, out of those folks only one person might be interested in automating one particular test case or test scenario right similarly if you take a devops team or a deployment team uh, out of 10-15 folks so one or two persons may be interested in automating the repeated tasks, right? So this is how an organization work. Out of uh, 10 different teams, uh, one or two persons in each team might be doing an automation work so that he can reduce the manual work and also he can get rid of the manual task and repeated task and uh, implement this automation so that the life would be easier, right? This is how most of the organization work. There will not be any dedicated automation team as such, right? And uh, when I was working for one of the major organizations, um, there were a lot of uh, manual and uh, repetitive tasks across all the uh, departments. Like in the business team, they were creating a lot of uh, documents. Uh, they are producing a lot of requirement documents just by writing everything in the um, uh, Word or uh, Excel sheet. So they those can be automated too, right? If you just give input of couple of words it will generate the sentence automatically something like that so this is um, uh, business automation document automation all those stuffs are just were missing uh, in this in that organization i found that as a gap and similarly in your organization you can also find out if you are working in a business team uh, definitely there will be a, a place to automate your process and coming to the development team obviously if you are writing code using java or dot net or any script if you are writing definitely uh, there would be many manual tasks and uh, one of you might be doing the automation work right and when it comes to the testing team uh, you can automate the test cases test scenarios you can use uh, technologies like uh, selenium all those stuff to automate it right so this is how the automation emerges across all the uh, departments in an organization and uh, who can take a control on all these automation works across all the organizations in a company. The role is called automation architect. So what exactly automation architect does? He or she might talk to the CTO and LOB leads and uh, the development leads and uh, operations or engineering uh, team leads and make sure that he identifies all the areas wherever the automation is needed. Okay. And uh, you have to keep one thing in mind. Automation is not required at some places. So it is not like you have to automate everything. Okay, There are certain places you must not automate. Testing team angle or test team uh, perspective, you think um, 
definitely there are the areas that you should not be automating if you automate and run the automate test cases where the automation is not required it will create a lot of problems so that is also one of the important things you must keep in mind so coming back to that uh, architect role automation architect role right that person uh, goes to all these organizations in the company and collects the requirements where the automation is needed okay once after identifying the use cases where the automation is needed he or she will talk to the cto and make sure that he picks a top 3 or 4 uh, requirements to automate okay once after identifying the top 3 or 4 requirements automation architect brings the architecture for automating the piece of work either in the development team or uh, operations team or engineering team or in the testing team or in the deployment team okay wherever needed and this automation architect has the knowledge or hands on experience with any of the scripting language like in case of uh, creating a ansible script he must uh, know the yaml right and also any python script knowledge is needed and the automation architect must be hands on to uh, deliver all these products automated products and also when it comes to automation nowadays the ai is getting infused so what is the benefit of uh, infusing the ai with automated work okay let's take an example of network automation okay this is uh, one of the rare cases uh, you might uh, come across in your organization where the operations team might be doing the network flow monitoring by using the security tools like qrada all those stuffs right so when they identify the data flow in the network the network automation will capture the vulnerabilities in the network data and then it will predict or oh, this is going to cause the problem in the network flow and it will kill that um, vulnerability and it solves the problem so in this case definitely the plain automation will not work along with the automation you must infuse the ai so that it will predict how it will predict it learns the history of the incidents happened in the organization across the network and um, use the algorithm and train algorithm it will create a model and um, the ai model will be used to predict what's going to happen in the future okay so this is one of the areas to highlight the automation architect must have not only the automation skill and also the ai skill okay and uh, once after implementing the top 3 or 4 high priority business use cases across all the organization in your company the automation must be tested validated approved and deployed in the production so that it will capture all the incidents in advance and notify the key people these are all the general activities of automation architect okay so how this automation architect role differs from other architects if you take an example of um, application architect and compare with the automation architect the application architect will focus only on the application development application uh, framework application tools technologies and address all the issues happening in the application side take care of uh, non functional requirements on the application side and his focus is only towards the application right and uh, if you take an example of uh, technology architect what he or she does he focuses only on the software and hardware components of your uh, application or uh, the system which are being used in your organization and uh, if you take a data architect he or she focuses only on the data side he doesn't uh, focus more on the automation side okay so this is how the automation architect differs from other architects okay and uh, one more thing is the automation architect work with all these architects automation architect work with technology architect automation architects work with data architect automation architect work with enterprise architect automation architect work with application architect and also business architect so why the automation architect role is very important in this stage because the trend what if you look at your organization or any other major enterprises everyone is focusing on cost saving right so how an organization can save the cost only when you stop doing the repetitive work by using much more manual force right or if you are doing any manual tasks extensively by employing multiple skill sets 
right so these are all the major factors for high cost usage so how do we reduce this cost you have to bring in and replace the manual task with automated task and also it will not take the job of uh, the person who is doing the manual uh, job so it will use the skill knowledge of the person who was doing the manual task and upskill that person to learn and utilize the automation skill and also infuse the artificial intelligence so that the manual task will get reduced and the uh, process will get completed very quick and automatically and that's how the cost saving happens okay so the automation architect is playing a major role in any of the organization that has different uh, departments like uh, business application technology data application deployment devops all those departments okay so this automation architect role is um, growing so if you are one of the persons who is doing the automation job in your organization like uh, if you are in a business team and if you are one of the persons doing the automation business automation work and uh, if you are in the development team doing some automation in the development area and if you are in the testing team and doing some kind of development automation development in your organization and if you are in devops or uh, deployment team and if you are into doing that um, automation work for your organization there are plenty of opportunities that you can groom yourself as an automation architect i'll provide the links and resources in the description below you can make use of it and you can groom yourself as an automation architect and succeed in your the current era and uh, when it comes to the automation in cloud what kind of automation can be achieved in uh, public cloud strategy uh, what kind of automation tools are available in the public cloud or hybrid cloud all those things we can see in the next video if you find this video is useful give a thumbs up and share it to your friends so that they will also get benefit out of it take care bye